Girls Engineering Day is a program that was developed six years ago uh, as a partnership between Anaheim Union High School District and the Women's Transportation Seminar in Orange County to educate girls throughout the school district on careers in the transportation industry. The goal of the program is to encourage students to stay in school, go to college, and consider STEM careers. It began with an email. Uh, to Sherry Eifler, who is um, part of WTS. And basically, uh, I was just asking, could we have a Girls Engineering Day actually at Dale Junior High? And all of a sudden, it's turned into this amazing district event. What it has become is a day of mentoring between um, various professionals within the transportation industry and our AUHSD grade 7 through 12 girls. It's a day for them to engage in collaborative activities, uh, be able to connect with students across the district and learn about um, different professions. The girls who come to Girls Engineering Day go through a series of technical uh, ro session rotations. The four or five sessions that they go through are surveying, geotechnical engineering, environmental planning, highway and traffic engineering, and sometimes we offer a transit session as well. I love the activities that we did. I've learned how to make roads from point A to point B and learn how to measure specific parts on the map. I decided to come because I wanted to learn more about engineering and like all the jobs that they have. We learned about how women can be like traffic engineers and how they can um, help the environment and how help animals cross over to other sides of the forest and go across roads. I think the most important thing the girls learn is not only what the engineers and the people in transportation do, but also how they got there. Because oftentimes they talk about um, their path through school. In Girls Engineering Day, we have many different um, people involved. Of course, we have volunteers from the Anaheim Union High School District uh, throughout the district. Um, we have a couple of other visiting school districts that uh, send representatives as well as attendees. From the planning side, right now we have a committee of 20 members that, uh, that help plan the event, plus we have at least 25 sponsors every year, different companies that either donate their time or uh, items for the event. Teachers, they come together and they support their students in registering them, riding with them on the bus, and then coming here. On the other side is WTS, um, who has just amazing volunteers. So I think today we have over 100 or more. I feel like the goal of today is to expose our students to opportunities that they have, to see a variety of women in this profession from varying ages, to hear their stories, uh, and to see how a variety of diverse backgrounds can um, make it in these different industries to also be able to collaborate with different students because when we set up the initial icebreaker activity they're working with girls from other campuses so it's really implementing the five C's it's really getting these girls to communicate with one another to um, collaborate with one another in the problem-solving activities they're critically thinking they're building character as they're interacting with the adults and interacting with folks that they don't know um, and they have to be creative in some of these different activities because of the problem-solving nature and so they have to be able to offer their different suggestions this program is important for me because I get to see what kind of engineering there is available, even though I have a good idea of what I want to do. It gives me more of an idea that there's a variety I could just select from. My favorite part is getting to see everybody learn more about it and it empowers women to know that this isn't just a field dominated by men and women are more and more becoming a part of it. It's also been really exciting because um, for the last few years our, our girls have applied for and gotten the scholarships for their future in potential engineering fields. There's a lot of benefits for girls to stay um, on that science and technology path and to give them the best chance at a solid career in their lives.